Hi guys and welcome to the Tech FAQ series. In this video we're going to be answering the question, is 8GB of RAM enough for gaming or do you need some more? Now this is a question that I get asked a fair bit, especially with how high DDR4 RAM prices are right now. So uh, I'll put these down so I don't break them and have to buy some new stuff. But uh, either way, it's uh, kind of an interesting thing, so let's take a look. Now the overall consensus for do you need more than 8GB of RAM just for gaming, especially at 1080p, is generally no. If you've ever looked at your task manager while you're playing games, even on some of the more demanding games, you'll likely only see four to six gigabytes of usage. And while obviously six gigabytes of, uh, gigabytes of usage plus another couple of gigabytes for Windows and stuff like that will obviously fill up your RAM capacity, uh, it's not really that massive of a deal, especially if you're okay with closing a lot of your background programs like your web browsers before launching your game. With that said though, if you do want to keep your web browsers open, especially if you have as many tabs as I do open regularly, then you'll likely want a bit more. Now, of course, if you're planning on doing stuff like video editing or 3D modeling or all that sort of stuff that often requires a large amount of RAM, then of course you will want more than this, but specifically just for gaming, 8 gigabytes is still all right for the moment. Now, my personal recommendation would be picking up a single 8 gigabyte stick to start with. The reason for this is that you can then upgrade as much as you physically can later. Now, of course, if you pick up a motherboard with only two RAM DIMM slots and you end up uh, getting eight gig an 8 gigabyte set of two 4 gigs uh, sticks, then you're going to be pretty limited and you're going to have to either replace both of those sticks or replace at least one of them and then you have one you know RAM stick just lying around. So if you get a single stick of 8 gigabytes, then obviously you're not running a dual channel, so it's technically not the most performance, but you do end up with a lot more upgrade space. When I first built my PC, I got a 16 gigabyte kit, which was comprised of four 4 gigabyte sticks. This was really annoying for me a couple of years down the line when I wanted some more RAM because I was doing video editing and stuff like that and 16 gigabytes just wasn't cutting it. So with that in mind, I ended up having to actually, well, I ended up upgrading the system anyway, but I would have had to fully replace all of those dims, which would have left me with a load of RAM spare that I didn't necessarily need at that point. So uh, if you are going to upgrade, that's my personal preference. But here are some viewer answers too. So answering the original question, is 8 gigabytes of RAM enough for gaming? Chris Birch says yes. It does depend on your GPU, but generally speaking, uh, unless you do other things, you don't need any more than 8 or 16 gigabytes. Cooley T says yes, it's fine for him, so that's uh, another vote in the yes camp. Now apologies for likely butchering her name here, but Mihail says uh, it's a minimum for 2018 to have 8 gigabytes, and if you have newer hardware from the last couple of years, 16 gigabytes is a must-have. MacTX says that he finds himself using about 20 gigabytes at 3440 by 1440 at 100 FPS, so for him it wouldn't work, but for 1080p 60 FPS gamers, it's likely just about okay, although you might want to go with a bit more uh, if you want to sort of more future-proof yourself. Neil McCallum says that uh, it's kind of the bare minimum right now, obviously due to GPU and RAM prices, it's kind of what you can afford and what your budget is, but uh, generally speaking, you should definitely try and get more than 8 gigabytes, but 8 gigabytes is your kind of minimum limit. Wilson Clark says that the uh, demand is increasing, and so 8 gigabytes is, I, th I think anyway, slowly becoming less of a an accepted minimum. Of course, if you're just talking about gaming, then it's likely uh, still all right at this point, but obviously if you can get more, it's probably worth it. And Cybershark says uh, it's kind of the bare minimum, not really recommended, but if you have to go with it, then fair play. So the general consensus is yes, if you want to play games and only play games, then 8 gigabytes is fine for you, especially if you're on a budget and you want to spend your money in uh, other places that aren't necessarily RAM, go for it. But of course, if you want to do anything else on top of that, and especially if you want to have a little bit of a better experience, then it's probably worth getting a little bit more. So that pretty much wraps it up for this episode of Tech FAQs. I hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions yourself that you want answered in these videos, leave them in a comment down below or if, uh, you know, tweet them at me on Twitter. And if you want to be in the video as a viewer answer, make sure you're following me on Twitter at TechMGB so that you can reply to the questions as I ask them. Feel free to check out some of the other videos over here if you want to support these videos on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and now Saturday basis. Then feel free to take a look at the links in the description down below, including Patreon and Amazon and Overclock as at UK affiliate links. And otherwise, that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you all in the next video.